I need a donut. I'm hungry. Gravy make a splash like Pippin. Shit, that's nothing. Splash. Everybody. So we woke up today at 191.4, which is uh, just about five pounds less than when I started. So I started at 196, now 191, and it's only been three days. We're doing good. All right, guys, so I'm about to show you my breakfast. For the most part, I eat the same things every day, but uh, there will be a few days here and there that I don't. Today is one of the days that I eat pretty much the same thing. So what I'm eating right now is, um, one packet of oatmeal. It just makes it really simple to, to cook. Uh, egg whites and uh, two full eggs. Six egg whites, which comes out to about focus, uh, 46 grams per uh, serving. So that's one egg white. For six egg whites, we gotta do about 276. Then we do 276. Right, that's fine. Put that on the microwave. This is what we're doing, just regular. I left it there a little too long, so it's burning a little bit, so. And that right there is breakfast. I'm gonna try to multitask, because I got like five minutes before uh, I gotta do a few things. <laughs> um, I'm gonna eat this real quick, but at the same time, I'm gonna try to explain to you guys what my plan is gonna be, my approach to the whole six weeks. I'm not going to be 100% accurate with everything because um, I know my body pretty well at this point um, unless I'm like stagnant and I, I'm not dropping any more weight or I, I see no more changes then I'll start being a little more um, accurate with my numbers in, like, in terms of hitting my macros and, and stuff. The plan right now is to eat about 5 meals a day, 3 of those meals with uh, carbohydrates, um, First meal is about half a cup of whatever it is. In this case, it's oatmeal. And two of those meals are a full cup of whatever carbohydrates. So it could be rice, could be whatever. If you want to do like bread or like wraps or whatever, just measure the same amount of grams. So a cup of, of carbs is about 50 grams or so. So that right there is like maybe two servings of cereal. Could be, you know, how many in bread world? What is that like? Each slice is like 19 grams maybe. So like maybe three slices. One and a half. You get the point. That's that's what it is. As far as protein goes, it's always high. So every meal has a, about six ounces of protein, and then fats. About uh, two or three meals of those have fats in them. Um, and something like a serving, like peanut butter. A peanut butter serving. Uh, a serving of peanut butter has about 180 calories, or about what 14 grams of fat or so. Uh, so that's the range that I'm going for for two or two or three of those meals. Uh, calories wise, um, I'm up right about 2,000, 2,100, maybe 2,200, around there. I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm not really tracking everything to the T. I just make sure that I get my meals in. I hit my cardio. Oh, which brings me to the cardio. Um, I'm doing cardio about, about six to seven times a week. I find it meditative at this point, to be honest. It's not even about burning body fat, but it's just. It's 30 minutes to myself. I get to sort of decompress, stay in my own thoughts. Ooh, I'm also hitting up gymnastics. So I took up um, gymnastics because um, I'm a little bored of uh, the same things over and over. You know, working out, putting on muscle, it's not that hard. It's, it's pretty, okay, it's pretty simple. It's, it's hard, <laughs> but uh, it takes a long time. So it's like, you just gotta do the same things over and over. And I've been doing this for like, seven years now so it's like you know it, I need some sort of change and gymnastics I freaking love it I suck at gymnastics which is a good place to be to be honest I was getting in a little bit over my head whenever you think you're the best in the room or whatever that's when you stop growing I, I needed to be in a place where I just suck I, I'm like the bottom like, I, I'm, like I'm not good at anything and I'm and that's where you really push yourself to grow more and more. I, I need to get more flexible, learn about different movements besides bodybuilding and like strength training. I'm trying to get out of my zone, learn new things for my client. Other than that, I'll be working out about five times a week and on my two rest days, I go to gymnastics. <laughs> um, and then I do the cardio on top of that. That's pretty much it. I really need to finish this because I got no time. 
So right now, we're about to head to the gym. We are going to get a chest workout in with my friend Andrew. He's been working out with me for a while now. I will catch you guys at the gym. All right, so we got to the gym and uh, first thing is first, always, always warm up. We are doing chest, so you don't really need to do anything drastic. Key things to warm up are gonna be your rotators, stretch out your lats, stretch out your pecs, and warm up the stabilizers. So for any muscle group, you always wanna warm up whatever is supporting you because uh, like take, take chest for example, you're always pressing forward. You're gonna be warmed up as soon as you start the exercise. But what you haven't warmed up is the complete opposite motion, which is pulling and that's what's supporting you through the whole thing. So you wanna warm up that too. Uh, if you see around there, my friend uh, Christian is uh, recording me. Yeah, it was a hectic day. He was, uh, well, not a hectic, but it was uh, a little bit weird. Um, I felt a little uncomfortable working out with like so many cameras because I also have to record my Instagram workouts. Uh, I'm trying this YouTube thing now, and then he was recording as well. Oh, and then I got to have my friend Andrew record his workout. So, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, we'll... we'll we made it work so um but hopefully i can get used to the youtube thing uh let me know guys how you let me got, ooh, guys let me know how you like the videos there we go i english sometimes and um i'll i'll try to come up more of uh, what you guys want right here is the workout you can screenshot it for next time if you want to give it a shot now we are starting with the cable flies for about 10 reps uh we're just warming up trying to get that mind to muscle connection before we get into the the rest of the workouts we're starting light if you notice i'm not stepping too far in front of the pulley i'm like right in between the handles i'm also pulling towards my chin so i'm pulling up and not down because uh pulling up targets more of the upper chest i i'm always always working on my upper chest if you notice in the in this workout there's barely any flat movements if any at all that's because i don't really train my lower chest your lower chest will get activated regardless of uh, you working the middle lower upper whatever you want to call it in bodybuilding world so um yep now we're moving on to a, an incline dumbbell press uh i'm gonna let you guys listen to the rest of the video by itself because uh i'm trying to uh capture the way my workouts are the goal was 8 to 10 reps, but I well pushed over 10. I think I've got 13 reps here. Um, and that's the, 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 type of, in, the type of intensity that you're trying to go for. So here you go, guys. <laughs> When he's caught doing biceps, when he's caught doing biceps. <laughs> My friend Andrew was making a joke of me because I don't, I never hit biceps. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty funny. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. My friend was recording in the background. But um, if you guys saw the last video, the um, the intensity, you always got to bring up the intensity. It, it's not just about hitting 8 to 12 reps. It, it's not just about eating right. It's not just about sleeping well you what you do at the gym matters and um you should always be trying to push yourself so at least that's my approach and i'm always preaching intensify your workouts be intense and uh you will grow now what we're doing here is a incline dumbbell fly and we're adding external rotations at the bottom and look at my tempo i'm not going fast i'm not going too slow either just very controlled i'm stopping at the bottom the rotation helps on getting a better stretch at the clavicular head which is the what we call the upper part of your chest the upper chest so um and then i come up slow try to contract as much as possible keep my shoulders back and down and that should help you get a better contraction and keep you safe also towards the end i added partials uh, I stop doing the rotation and just go to complete failure. Next up is the incline chest press. We didn't do anything else, just chest. Um, <laughs> I'm going pretty light here. 
I'm honestly gassed up from the dumbbell press that we did earlier. And uh, if you notice my tempo, it starts off slow because that's just how my energy levels were. And then towards the end, I get more and more tired. But at the same time, I'm trying not to give up and try to push as hard as I can. So I speed it up a little bit. Still focus on my form. May not be going all the way up, but I'm trying to reach to complete failure. And yes, that kind of hurt. <laughs> I need a donut. I'm hungry. All right, so next up is the line mine press. You can use this at any corner if your gym doesn't have the little setup like mine. So the goal here is to target the upper chest. You don't just want to hold the bar together and then push up. You're actually trying to push your hands together and slightly push up at the same time. That's what's really going to activate your chest. This is also the last workout that we did. And we're switching straight into the cardio for about 40 minutes, trying to burn 500 calories. All right guys, so I know weird transition, but I forgot to actually show you what I look like. I was editing the video and then I realized that and I'm like, crap, I gotta, you know, record the clip and show you guys the pictures. I already made a little bit of progress, so I, I can't really show you an actual physique update, like an actual video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up the pictures that I sent to my coach the day that the challenge started, which was uh, Sunday. So at that time, I was at 196 pounds. Uh, as far as the measurements goes, oh man, I am not proud of that at all. I didn't realize how like thick my waist actually was until I measured it. I haven't measured my waist since like, what, a, a year two maybe ago? Uh, and at the time I was, it was 30, no, 29, between it. So yeah, guys. This is gonna be the end of the clip. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it informative. If you liked it, you know, hit that like button. It does help out the channel grow. So if you guys wanna be notified for the next time that I put up a video, uh, just click the subscribe button. Hopefully it notifies you. And if it doesn't, just might as well click that little uh, bell button so it does notify you. Uh, all right guys, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Gravy make a splash like Pippin. Shit, that's nothing. Splash, everybody.